Hey guys, and welcome to the Happy Food Collection. Sorry, it's taking me a minute. Collection. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so the Happy Food Collection. And, um, I haven't decided if I want to do this yet, but I was thinking every time I show you a happy food, I would show you, I'm going to show you the picture of the happy food, then I'm going to show you the details, um, of the real happy food. But I'm still not sure if I want to say, like, out of 1 to 10 how much I love it. Um, because that might take a little bit, but we'll see. So, um, yeah, so let's get started. And I think I'm, um, I made all the happy foods, by the way. Except for the eggplant. That's the only one that I haven't made because I don't have purple all the time. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm kind of dumb. And um, I kind of take pictures of all of them and I write what they are. This picture's a little off-centered, but whatever. Um, and, of course, it's the Happy Pretzel. And um, I'm going to do all my tents because I've played this game before multiple times with my friend. And, um, since we basically all have the same amount of happy foods and everything, and we play this game, like, 1 to 10, and I have all my 10s still sitting out, so I'll just show you my 10s, and this is the first 10, so that's what he looks like on the camera, and I'm just gonna make it small and put it over here so you can look at it. And, so this is him. I did white cheeks, so it would seem like salt since I forgot my salt. So here's the back. Here's how skinny is. And here's my hand. Um, he's pretty much one of the largest, meaning big, like, like that kind of big. Um, but, yeah, so happy pretzel. Okay, so here's the, um, peas in a pod. And you might see, like, a keychain kind of hanging out of it. The only reason I have that on there so I can attach it, because this is, I'm just going to be honest, this is my number one favorite happy food. If I had to choose, he would be number one. And I love him so much. And, um, yeah, so there's a keychain, of course, and so I like to take him around with me sometimes. Um, and I know this is kind of weird, but sometimes I take him to gym meets with me, and I would just hook him in the inside or the outside of my bag. Um... Sometimes when I'm just scared, I'll just hold him and be like, come on, I'm going to do good, and just stuff like that. Um, so he's kind of like my good luck charm. And so let me make it small. And here we go. So um, one of the peas is the exact color as the pod. Um, I'm not sure which one it is. It's either this one or this one. But one of them is like a darker green. I think this one is the same color as this one. And then one's like a lighter or darker, I don't remember. And then there's a jelly one. This is my favorite pea. And for some reason, I'm just in love with these guys. And then um, I've had to fix it several times because of the slip knot has broke over time. Um, of course, since I take them everywhere. And then I just hooked a little keychain holder thing. And yeah, and they do come out. Like that. <laughs> Um, oops. And they, they, so they are removable and everything. This is basically like a detail video, I guess. Where my other peas go? And I always like the middle, the jelly green one in the middle for some reason. Is that weird? Comment down below if that's weird. Where's the other pea? Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, here's my peas and a pod. You'll just go in. Okay, they're crooked, but that's okay. So, happy peas in a pod, and moving on. Next is the ice cream cone. And I believe the two colors that I had on him, or her, whatever, um, were not rainbow and bands at all. They were, I think, the ones that you can get at Joann's, I believe they're Crazy Loops or something. Um, and I love the colors. I think it's amazing. And honestly... Of course, you have to have different colors than Rainbow Loom, so... I'm sorry, I'm eating a snack right now. Um, so... Oh, okay. Probably annoying you. 
Um, so here she is. Nothing um, happened with her except for for some reason it like gets like kind of big here instead of being like skinny. And then this one's row like sticks out a lot, but um, I love her anyway. And I'll tell you when I get out of my tens. So right now these are my tens. So tens and ice cream cone. So yeah. Also, um, of course the Christmas pudding is there, but I just want to let you know, um, I do have duplicates, and maybe like one of the duplicates is my favorite. Duplicates. Um, so I'm gonna even if they are in my ten, um, I'll just show you all three because they are gonna be all three in the picture, and so I'll just show you like all three at the end or whatever, and then I'll tell you like right above like ten and my numbers and stuff, and the number will be in the top corner as you can see it says ten right there. Um, that will be my number up there for all of them that I just thought of just now. <laughs> um, so this is my Christmas pudding. I did not do, like, the, I don't know what you would call it, the, like, the leaf thing. I was honestly gonna use it, but, um, I didn't like it, so. And I think he looks so cute without it. Um, that's why he has a 10, so. I love him without it. So, I'm really glad I did him without the leaf. And, yeah, so, moving on. Okay, so this is my Happy Popcorn, another one of my tens. And, um, yeah, so, that's my Happy Popcorn. Um, no mistakes, but I did, um, opaque red and white, of course. And jelly yellow for the top where the popcorn is. And he was honestly really fun to make, and he's just so cute. So let me make this smaller so you can still see it. And here he is. Of course he's transitioned, so um, can't, like, he's not perfect is what I mean to say. But And I love how he gets, like, all full because of this on top. And then he gets really slim. I love that on him. And I love how she did the popcorn. And I just, I love him so much. He's so cute. So, yeah, there's my popcorn. Okay, so this is my ice cream sundae. Um, I do wish that on the top where you see the brown swirls, I wish I did caramel on that, but that's okay. And for the slip knot, um, at the top of the cherry, I was thinking of doing a green band so it looked like a stem, but I just did um, red and I just left it there because I thought it would be cute. And also I did try hiding it and it was very hard. But I love my options that I chose. So let's see them in real life. Here he is. So cute. I love the little like fudge here. It was very hard to do that though. I'll say. So happy ice cream Sunday, And... I think that's it there's really nothing special to him except for like this part and how he's so cute so happy ice cream sundae and moving on okay so here's the strawberry which i call berry from clyde vichens meatballs and um i wish i did some big eyes on it because it would be even cuter but um still 10 and also sorry if my 10 keeps changing um i have to clear the whole page but hopefully i can figure out a way where i don't have to do that but, yeah, so happy strawberry. Um, and I did do a blue top because I didn't have any green, but I actually like the blue a lot better. And I think he looks fine with it, so. Yeah, oop, the picture turned. There we go. So here he is. And, yeah, it's blue top. I love sticking my finger in him like that. Mm. Like, it feels cool, like, because he closes in. But, happy strawberry, so, yeah. Okay, well, another off-to-the-side picture. Um, but, it's very hard taking pictures with an iPad, so. Especially since the camera's, like, on the side. But, um, this one I'm very happy with my choice, and yes, it is supposed to be tilted. 
Um, and I won't, it is, the chocolate bar part is removable, but I am not going to show that because it's, well, I guess I'll show it for you guys, whatever. I was just going to say, it's kind of hard to get back in. And it is an inside out design for the wrapper part. Um, but the other, because it would look different in the, on the other side. And I'll show you what it looks like on the other side, but it's better on this side. Um, so, um, yeah, let's make this small. Sorry, you have to, like, see me move it. Just thought it'd be cool to watch. I like watching it. So here he is. And, um, he, it does come out. So, looks like this. And then, you actually, she actually said we had a choice to leave it inside out. And yes, there's a slip knot because it's, I mean, it's inside. But this is what he looks like. His eyes and everything do pop out more, and I like that. But I just don't like the design of, like, this, the white part. So, I keep it the other way. Um, I think it looks way better that way. So, happy chocolate bar and a wrapper. Okay, just don't worry about off-to-side pictures, okay? <laughs> um, okay, so, of course, the next is the lime. And I love my lime. I think he's adorable. And I'm really glad I didn't add a leaf because I honestly don't like the leaf on him. I think he's perfect the way he is. So, oops. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's really, really nothing to it except for you do add the side on face, um, side, on this, like, not center kind of. Because when he comes off, you can, like, center his face out. But mine hasn't really centered out his face. And as you can see in the picture, one of his eyes sticks out and one goes in. I can't fix that. I've tried so hard. But it's okay. It makes him look cool, cool. So here he is. Like I said, the eye will not go in if you like push on it really hard. It still won't go in. So here's the lime. It's just jelly green. And of course you have to do like the double cat band, which I think makes it actually really cute. So that's basically it. I mean, there's nothing for the lime except for he's just really cute. So happy lime. Okay, so we have heavy cherries, and they are two totally different things. Um, one's more, like, squared and not circled, and one is completely circled. <laughs> so it's kind of weird, because they do actually come off really big. Um, and as you can see in the picture, they're to one's totally leaning, um, because one that one that's on the left um, is actually, like... It, since, of course, it's, like, more flat, it, um, holds itself up and the other one, like, drops. So, um, when I show you, though, they'll definitely be, like, standing up the right way. So, yeah. Okay, so here they are. This is how they're supposed to be, but instead they're like this. <laughs> so, um, I'm fine with that, though. So, here's my Happy Cherries. I have no idea what happened to this one, but this one, like, turned out perfect. So, um, happy cherries! Nothing really to say about them, except for I never hit the slip knots. <laughs> so, yeah, happy cherries! I'm just letting you know, guys, there's probably gonna have to be a part two, because this video is already 13 minutes long, and, um, I haven't even finished my ten yet. My fate, all my tens. So... Oh, well, um, I have a whole big pile over here, so, um, there's probably gonna be a part two. But anyway, this is my donut. And the way you make it, you would understand if you, um, made it before, that you make it, like, on the side, and it goes up and turns and everything. And you have to stitch it together, of course. And, um, there are a few mistakes, and I'll show you when I'm actually on there. But his mouth is weird. Um, it won't smile, <laughs> which is the sad part. Um, and the sprinkles, I thought I was adding them kind of sporadically every each row, when I should just put them all on, because I was going to cut some off. Um, so now, it you can definitely tell how I made it because of that. Um, but that's totally fine. I gotta sneeze. It's right there, and hold on. Oh my gosh, I just sneezed like 20 times. <laughs> that's okay. Um, so, I'll show you, um, some other things that I've been realizing that I missed. Um, we put these little things here, so it kind of covers the transition. Apparently, I missed one here, 
and here. Um, I believe, oh, and apparently here. I don't know if, like, they snapped off because I remember putting them on. So, I'm not sure. But I love the colors. This is another, um, uh, 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 sorry, um, another type of band. It looks more yellow in the camera, but it's more orange. Um, but anyway, it's, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's... It's from Walmart. They had, like, this big pack from Easter, and this was in it. And so I loved it with the white and this um, teal that I think also came with the pack. So I got that. So, um, moving on. Also, I just thought, maybe you are curious how many Happy Foods I have. Um, I have 81, I believe. And that's not even counting, like, Happy Things... Um, non-happy foods and non-happy animals, so, yeah, that's why we're gonna take a while. Um, dragon fruit is made with a really hot pink, um, and, um, I know not know what it's from, um, but it's made with just hot pink, and the leaves are, of course, as you can see, probably, like, three different colors. It's made with dark green, jelly green, and a little bit, like, I mean a little bit, of lime green. And, um, I had to do that because I didn't have a lot of the one color. So, I just mixed it together, and I actually love how it turned out. So, let me show you. He's pretty big, too. I mean, if you lay him on his side, compared to my pinky finger. Um, so here it is. And it was not really a pain to make her at all. So, and then, like peel away right here and you can see like the cap band but we want to hide that so now it's hidden so um happy dragon fruit also you're probably just thinking like dude you have a lot of tens yeah well i also don't have a lot of tens at the same time um i'll tell you how many tens i have at the end but um don't worry i only have a couple more but i have the happy pizza and um nothing bad happened I don't think um my friend actually made this one for me I asked her to make it since I didn't have the colors and I wasn't getting in any order soon so she made this for me and yeah so pepperoni pizza and here it is I love it it is so adorable I don't mind like the cheese down here it just reminds me of like dripping cheese dripping cheese chips and cheese chips and salsa Okay, off track. So, yeah, I believe this is neon orange, white, the cheese part, fuchsia, jelly red, jelly pink, and then just black. So, if you wanted to make it. But, I love my pizza. So, moving on. Okay, so this one is called Senior Taco, and it's actually supposed to be Senior Mad Taco. Because by the look on his face, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see him kind of being mad. He kind of looks mad like, I will fight you. But he looks more mad when you're actually holding him. Um, there's that, and of course in the sour cream part you can see that there's like a weird band mixed up there. Um, other than that, he turned out really good. And he does have this humongous um, fold on the bottom, and I pulled it out as much as I can. But once you, like, pull on one part of it, the other part goes in more than when you don't want it to. So, I liked him how he is, and then I thought the perfect name was Senior Mad Taco, but I, in the thing, I just did Senior Taco. So, um, here he is. So, yeah, he looks mean. <laughs> he looks mad or mean or something. Um, this is mango, lime green, or neon green, or whatever one it is. Regular red, neon orange, cocoa, white, and same on the other side. And then these are some millimeter pony beads and bright pink and black. If you wanted to make it like this. So, yeah. Okay, you might just be thinking, that's not a happy food. That's a animal. Well, one of my fav one of my tens is a happy, um, not a happy animal. Uh, well, yeah, it's a happy animal. Um, so, um, yeah, so this is my happy turtle, and there's pretty much nothing to say about it. So, um, here he is. 
Um, his head and his legs are jelly green, and also his little tail he has. He's got a little tail. And, um, his head is crooked. I did forget that. Something happened with the bands, and it slipped off, and I tried saving it. So his head is attached, but it's kind of crooked. Because, um, the bands right here were supposed to be attached over here to make it straight. And it didn't do that. And I tried fixing it, but, oh well. He's cute anyway. So he's got little, little feet. Um... And then we have white here and Caribbean green. And I love this color. And then here's his little face. He's like, hi, how you doing? I always think of these like as ears piercings. I don't know why. But, um, so, happy turtle. Okay, so my tent is really weird. Sorry about that. But these are all three of my marshmallows. And I'm so dumb, and I only grabbed the one that I gave a 10. So, um, I'll talk about it while I'm trying to look for it. Um, but, um, anyway, this is the one duplicates I was telling you about. So, um, and I'm just gonna say on a scale from 0 to 10, because some of them I just absolutely hate and just want to get rid of them and remake it into the color that I would like. So, um, yeah, and, um... That one, the blue and purple one was just a test to try something out, and, um, it didn't work. And then the pink and, um, white one, my friend made for me, and it's so funny because the eyes are so big that when you push on it, they, like, pop out, and it's so cute. And then the white one is my very first happy food, and it's kind of just weird thinking about making him because I actually remember making him, and, um, when I did make him... Of course, he is my first happy food and all, but um, he also, it seemed hard to me, but now it's really easy because, I mean, I made a poodle, <laughs> so, and if you haven't seen that, go check out that video, um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, the poodle, I'm just going to show you real fast. This is the poodle I made, and there, um, there will not be a link in the description, but it is on my channel, so go ahead and check out the progress on this video, and back to the marshmallows. Okay, so anyway, back to the marshmallows. And also my white one, I don't know if you can see it in the picture. Um, let me zoom it up really close. I don't know if you can see it right in here, but there's, like, cracking. And um, let me just, like, tap on it. Um, like, right where I put that dot, there's cracking. There's cracking on his eyes, like, right there. It's a really bad one. <laughs> um, and, yeah. So, basically, let's just get rid of that. Um, but this is basically, um, um, like, what's happening to my marshmallow. And so I'm really sad when it's going to crack and fall apart. Um, so, yeah. But here is the blue and purple one. Um... Yeah, I don't really like him. <laughs> no offense to him or anything. I just, I don't like him so much because he's just really weird colors. And here's the pink one. And this is what I meant by squishy him. His eyes just pop out. And it's so cute. Like, ready? It's so funny. But, um, here's the marshmallow. And I like this one. I think of, like, a strawberry and regular marshmallow put together. So, that one... And here's my very first happy food. And, um, like you can see, there's like cracking there. Cracking everywhere. Not one band is not really cracked. Um, so, happy marshmallow. And he was so cute. I was in love with him. And that's why I started making happy foods. So, he was the beginning. And, yep. Okay. So, um,. Okay, this one is a number 10. I forgot to write the number 10. So will you look at that awesomeness? Um, I'll just write the 10. Um, this is not invented by anybody. It was basically by um, Ella. She was like, I don't want to make a snowball. And she showed me, and I made one. And I, cause she, I kept asking Phil and Spiffy to make a snowball, but of course it's not really food. So she didn't make it. Sorry about if you hear noise. But my snowball, anyway, um, this is an odd feeling spiffy, so I just count it, though, so and it's one of my number tens. So, here we go. 
and I love her hot pink cheeks. I think it comes out really well. And I love that when you squish it, it sounds like a snowball, like when you make one. So, yep. And I'm just going to like stare at her while I talk. Um, but, yeah, so that was pretty much um, all my, just my tens. Um, and this video is already almost a half an hour long. Um, so I'm gonna go now, guys, and, um, and you know what? I'm not gonna go yet. I'm actually gonna keep going, and, um, since I only have, I only have a few happy things and a few happy animals. I'll show you those, and then I'm gonna end this video, and you'll have to see the rest later. So, yeah, sir, I changed my mind, so I'll see you, and, and, um, yeah, so I'll just show you that. Okay, this is my rainbow, and my rainbow is my version of a rainbow, since I love blue so much. And, yeah, so, blue rainbow. Um, yeah, so, let me just show you anyway. And the way she makes it, she actually pushes him in a lot, and it makes him all crooked and everything. But, so here he is. <laughs> he likes to talk a lot. Likes to talk a lot. Blah, 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 blah. And I like him one. <laughs> I would say zero, but I'll be nice and say one. Okay, so this is my umbrella. And um, I like her um, zero out of ten, um, nine. Um, I, I like her a lot because of the colors, but not like a lot where I'm crazy about her. Um, so here she is. She's made with Caribbean green and caramel. And I think she's cute. So, happy umbrella. This is my happy Easter basket. And I like hit at a 0 out of, um, 10, um, 1. I do not like it, honestly. And as you can see, like, right by the handle, there's a spot where it looks like it kind of dips in. It does that all the time, and I can't get it to stay. I can't get it to stay put. But, um, yeah. So, let me just show you my whoa, Easter basket. So, here he is. He's really big, though. I mean, um, if you've made the happy egg, um, he can pretty much fit in there with extra room. So, um, or the peep, she used the peep to show how big he was. So, um, you won't be able to fit another happy food, but, um, definitely more room. So, um, yeah, so, best. Another one, I don't like the colors that I did, because I don't know if you can tell, but on the bottom, that is not my camera. That is an actual color change. And it goes from neon, um, pink to a, the regular pink. Um, but it doesn't show up too well in the camera, as you can tell. And, um, yeah, and also, I didn't know if I told you this, but I, of course, I told you I was doing happy animals and happy things, but right now I'm showing you my happy things. So, and, um, here it is. So, of course, it's, like, neon, this portion, then right in this row it did opaque, and then opaque. So, happy heart, another one. Okay, so this one's a four, um, and it's my happy flower, and I like how I did the jelly, basically, and all that. So I, excuse me, um, I think it's really cute. Um, but anyway, let me just show you, try to speed things up. So she has jelly blue, um, yellow, um, hot pink, beads, black, and I think it's lime or neon or whatever, but here's my flower. She's honestly not too big, but here's my happy flower. Okay, the crab's name, he has a name, yes, his name is Hermit, Her I was gonna say Hermit, um, Herbert, a common crab name, um, he's all jelly red and he has orange, neon orange cheeks, even though that really does not show in the picture because of the weird lighting I had. Um, he was a pain in the butt. 
he was so he was he was he was really hard on um, honestly he um just kept getting messed up and i was getting really frustrated with him um but yeah he would have looked my friend has one too and he has humongous eyes and he would and we call him carl because that's when we what we see when we see him so i kind of wish i got big eyes for him but here he is it's, all of his legs are different <laughs> but here's carl and he likes to fall over. He stands up. Oh my gosh. That's never happened before. Yay. Yay. Herbert. He stood up. That's very cool. So. Um, Herbert. Also. I don't know if you knew this. But I was doing. Um, I'm doing. Animals now. And. Um, of course I've already done the happy turtle. So. Um, I don't need to do him for animals. Um, since you already saw him. But this is my last one. And it's the octopus. And. For some reason, I guess I missed a row on the legs, so they're not as long. And, um, except for one, one of them's longer, and it's on the very side, on the very right, which is kind of more pointing towards his head, the very top of it. And, um, the legs are a different color, kind of color. They're more of a tinted white than a normal, like, snow white. They're more of, like, a tinted... Kind of like dirtyish white almost, um, and yeah. So as you can see, like they're definitely a different color than this part, but I think that actually kind of gives it more character. And this is the big leg that I was talking about, because in the picture, this one's sticking up. So yeah, but I like the smaller legs, except for I'm really mad that one has an extra row, but whatever. So happy octopus. And, yeah, so that's all I'm going to show you for now, and I will see you in part two. So, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and continue to part two.